Hey hi what's going on guys welcome to part 6 on creating mobile web applications using jQuery mobile. So guys till now we were able to create the login page where we were able to authenticate the user's credential but we are still left with creating sessions and making our entire application secure. So in this video we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create sessions and we're gonna create the design for our index page. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back to our jQuery mobile directory and inside the folder called libs we have created a file called auth.php so I'm going to open this particular file with my text editor and guys uh, out here on the bottom we have a statement of fnl so inside this particular statement I'm going to call one more method so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back to core directory I'm going to open the class file called manage users and guys if you will notice out here uh, by using the function call list users we can actually pull up everything related to a user okay but uh, there is one problem like uh, if you will notice every time we are passing in a user ID and the moment a user gonna log in we don't have any user ID all we have is their username or their password so that's the reason we're just gonna you know uh, modify this particular method a bit so instead of user ID uh, out here I'm gonna say param and then what I'm gonna do out here like this and guys out here I'm gonna run for each statement so here I'm gonna say dollar param as dollar key dollar value like this okay and out here I'm gonna say where dollar key is equals to dollar value okay guys that's the only change we need to make now we can easily call this particular function so what I'm gonna do is out here I'm gonna say dollar param gonna be equals to an array okay where key gonna be the username and and the value gonna be the username value that actually the user keyed in at the time of login and out here I'm gonna say dollar init and the function and I'm gonna pass in the parameter that's dollar param so here I'm gonna create a variable I'm gonna name it to user info okay and here I'm gonna say for each dollar user info as dollar value and let's do an echo of it so here I'm gonna say echo uh, dollar value username okay so you're gonna get what exactly we are getting out of this function called list user so come back to the browser I'm gonna refresh the page here I'm gonna enter my name and my password <coughs> and here it you know gave me my username now guys that all we need uh, next thing we need is actually the user level so if I'll open my uh, PHP my admin and I'm gonna go to the database called jQuery mobile and I'm gonna open the table called users guys if you will notice out here we have something called user level the reason we created this like you know a normal user will only be able to create surveys and they will be able to see their own service but once it will come to an admin they can probably you know add new users and they can see all the surveys related to everyone okay so that's the reason we need to you know create a session of the user level so that later we can make a check whether a logged in user is an admin or not so then what I'm gonna do is uh, out here I'm gonna say dollar session like this survey username here I'm gonna say dollar value and uh, out here I'm gonna say username uh, next thing I'm gonna do is it needs to be like this next thing I'm gonna say is dollar session survey user type and that gonna be equals to dollar value and here we're gonna be the user level okay and out here on the top I'm gonna create a session so here I'm gonna say session start and I believe guys that's all we need and out here we can probably say echo true and guys next thing we need to do is we need to go back to our index file and out here I'm gonna say uh, session start okay 
Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say if is set dollar session survey username okay uh, like this then I'm gonna say it's fine or probably you know what I can say I can say if not is it header location to login.php file so let me tell you what exactly we are trying to do is guys every time a user gonna come to our index file or any file uh, that that is related to this survey app uh, we're gonna make a check every time uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find whether this particular session called survey username is set or not and if it's not set we actually gonna you know head the user back to login.php file and if they're gonna log in with their right credentials we're gonna create a session called survey username for them okay so let's let's test it right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the file called index.php and you will notice it's actually redirecting me back to login.php the same thing we're gonna do with our Android emulator so I'm gonna you know take away this particular thing called login.php from here and I'm gonna open the index file and guys if you will notice again it's redirecting me back to the file called login.php so let's log in with the right credentials here and here you go now we are on index.php file and if I'll refresh this particular page it's not redirecting me back to login.php because now we have this particular session called server username already set for us so guys next thing we need to do is we need to build our index.php file but before that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this particular PHP block of code away from here inside libs I'm gonna create a new file and here I'm gonna say session.php so that we, we will not have to write it again and again we can only include the file called session.php so here I'm gonna say PHP include once and they're gonna be session.php okay and guys you know every time we are you know uh, dealing with uh, header locations it's always a good practice to use uh, I would say OB start and OB flush on the top so that's what I'm gonna do uh, out here before including this file here I'm gonna say OB start okay and guys next thing we need to do is we need to set up the design for this particular index page so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go back to login.php file I'm gonna copy the markup that's you know inside the head section and I'm gonna paste it to index.php file I'm gonna remove the JS file which is required for login okay and out here I'm gonna start my body tags and I believe here gonna be the end of the HTML tag so I believe that's all we need out here I can say dev with an ID of page okay uh, I'm gonna give it a data row to page and inside it we're gonna create a header uh, we're gonna give it a data row to header and here uh, I'm gonna say survey list that exactly we want to show on our index page so I'm gonna say survey list uh, out here I'm gonna say dev with an ID of content and we're gonna have a data row to content so like this and inside let's say this as index okay for now uh, out here I'm gonna say dev with an ID of footer and again we're gonna have you know a data row to footer and again you know we're gonna have the same thing that's you know that copyright at the rate John Doe company or your company name so I'm gonna paste that either so guys come back refresh this page there was some kind okay there is an error out here because it needs to be libs slash session dot php now it's fine guys so guys uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up this particular footer out here to the bottom so for that what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna say data position okay and here I'm gonna say fixed so if you will notice it's out here on the bottom now so guys next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a navigation from where a user can actually move uh, from you know adding surveys or you know uh, seeing their survey or if it's an admin they should have you know a link to uh, I would say 
add a user or see all the users so for that uh, we're going to use our footer i'm going to remove this particular thing which says you know copyright and out here i'm going to create a div and i'm going to give it a data row to navbar so here i'm going to say data row to navbar okay i'm going to create a ul that would be uh, that would be an unordered list and inside it i'm going to create list items so here i'm going to say list item uh, then I'm gonna say data icon that what I believe and let's say a grid here I'm gonna say um, a list survey uh, let's see if you're getting it right uh, no it's not the right way I believe it needs to be something like an F bar yep that's how it needs to be and here it says li data icon okay, uh, next thing we need to do is uh, i believe this needs to be inside an anchor length like this uh, let's test it now no i believe it was fine okay so finally we have you know an icon out here and you know we have a link out here on the bottom okay so uh, we can actually copy it uh, inside of grid here I can say plus and I can say add survey so now we have two of those and guys next thing you know here we can have a PHP check uh, where I can say if dollar session uh, like this uh, we're session.php file survey user type out here is equals to equals to admin okay and then you know I can have uh, two more links out here and that and they're gonna be you know add a user and list a user so that's what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna say list users and here I'm gonna say add users okay and here we're probably gonna you know enter a PHP F statement like this so come back refresh okay guys finally so we have you know a list survey and add survey list users and add user the reason is that because right now I'm logged in with an admin so you know now what I'm gonna do is very quickly I'm gonna create one more user okay uh, here I'm gonna say the username be John his first name gonna be uh, John last name gonna be Doe email let's say john at the rate doe.com uh, for the user level I'm gonna say you know a normal user so I'm gonna create it and I believe we actually you know missed the password field so uh, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna create a password let's name it to John and we're gonna make it an md5 hash so okay that's fine uh, guys now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my Android simulator I'm gonna you know refresh the page and out here I'm gonna you know log in with John now okay that's done uh, here I'm gonna enter the username called John and here I'm gonna password I'm gonna enter the password as John so J O H N and I'm gonna log in now let's see what's gonna happen now Okay, okay guys so now I have been redirected to the page called you know index.php and out here we only have two links the one says you know list survey and the other one says add survey so a normal user can only add a survey the moment they're gonna click on this button and they can see all the surveys really like uh, related with their username but for an admin we have some more rights where they can add or list users so guys I believe that's all from this particular video I'm gonna see you guys next time goodbye